close your eyes. Jesus, I thank you that you're in the room. Lord, the word that is going to be released today, Jesus, I thank you that your anointing is on it, not because of what I bring, but because you gave it, because you're bringing it forth and because you're the one that gave it to me for this time. It's for this group of people. And Lord, I pray that it lands on hearts that it will be stewarded in, that we don't just hear a word, but we actually absorb the word. And the word connects with our spirit and it awakens It dismantles obstacles and things that are hindrances, and it actually establishes your intention over our life, that today is a commissioning, today is a calling forth, Lord, that we are called forth into the fullness of who we are to be in this hour, and Lord, who we have been, but it may not be accurate for this season, Lord, we commit to be courageous in this season. We commit to a spirit of bravery in you to be who you've called us to be and to be unapologetically authentic in our gift, in our calling. Lord, I thank you that you're removing the apology off the church of being bold and having a sound and taking up space. Lord, I thank you that we are called to take up space in the spirit in this hour. We are called to take ground in the spirit. And for anyone that has been muzzled in this hour, I break off that muzzle and I declare freedom to declare and decree the word of the Lord with ease and with confidence. And I thank you, Jesus, that there is an awakening that is going to happen in the area of identity, calling, and purpose today. In Jesus' name. I heard the Lord say this word, and I've been releasing this word, and I feel like the Lord told me to release it here because I feel like as I release it in different regions, it awakens regions to the now what God's doing. So I want to prophesy over you this morning with what I believe God is saying over you, over me, and really over the church at this time. The Lord is raising up a company of people that he is calling the wild ones. They are the ones that have been marked with the spirit of Elijah and cry out like John the Baptist. Man-pleasing isn't a part of their mindset. They are not swayed by social protocols. They refuse to be seduced by modern-day rhetoric that doles one's conscience and convictions. They will walk in a radical faith, confronting a religious spirit wherever they go. They will step over fear, refusing to bow. They walk in a full dependency in Christ, for their cry is, without him I am nothing. They've consecrated their eyes so their gaze is only looking to Jesus. They have a holy revolt in them towards anything that opposes Jesus and his truth. They do not care about their name being known. They are not oppressed by titles or worldly accomplishments. They are enamored only by Jesus, singular in their gaze, humble, repentant, fully surrendered, filled with an unwavering joy and an all-consuming peace. His mercy has marked them. His love has overtaken them. The world cannot break them and the church desperately needs them. These are the wild ones. Are you a wild one in the house of God today?